is James Elder for IFL TV and Association of Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm with the McDonough's. I'm with Peter and Shannon McDonough. What's happening? How you doing, James? You all right? I'm all right. You all right? Yeah, good. Good. What's this bad boy belt I can see on your on your table? That's one of my Irish titles. Um, the other one's over at the MGM. Obviously, I won it for the MGM, so I've left it over there. Um, obviously, it'll be coming back when uh, I fight in Ireland in September. Um, so we're looking now at, you know, just get back into camp. Look, going out in a few weeks again after Neve's next step, uh, Gala Ball. And then uh, in a serious training for September. You've got a good collection of them Irish belts, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, the next one next one will be my third one at three different weights. So yeah. it'd be nice, like, if, if it's an Irish title fight, my next one, let a little bit go there. But... Uh, it'd be my third one at three different weights and then hopefully move on to bigger and better things. Interestingly enough, you've un been unbeaten in two years, which yeah. is a good statistic, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't been beaten since Bradley Ski. Um, level of opponent ain't been the top levels of opponent, but now I'm finding it hard to get fights. But uh, obviously with the great management team we've got around me and Daniel Anto, um, obviously we trained with Danny Vaughan. Um, I believe we can go a long way now, you know? We're getting the right opportunities and doing the right things and all I've got to do is keep winning now. I used to always sort my own career out and, you know, I'll have this fight, I'll take this fight, I'll take that fight. Daniel took the reins from me now and said to me, look, I'm sorting everything out now. So leave it all to him now and all I've got to do is the fighting. Yeah. You know, he does the talking. I used yeah. to do the talking, the fighting and, and the drinking. I mean, that side of things, you seem to be more of a family orientated person now. You seem to be a lot more focused on your career and keeping yourself fit. Obviously your game, you never know when the phone's going to ring more so in the past than now but yeah. you've got to keep, keep yourself active haven't you yeah most definitely obviously thanks to like obviously my sponsors people that have helped me first the MGM Marbella um, Daniel himself uh, CMP um, you know they, they've been through with me through nearly through my whole career you know so you know and I've just got more of a focus on the game now and not only that I'm, my kids are getting older now and you know it's, you've got to start pro uh, providing for them you know and Obviously, with Shannon, you know, she's at acting school now and all that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, it co comes to a lot of money, so I've got to sort of support them. You're saying that? I've heard a rumour that you're not even the biggest star in your own house at the moment. No. Sh Shannon's taking over the McDonough name. Y yeah, no, she is definitely. She's, um, I, I mean, I've obviously I've performed all around the world boxing-wise, but uh, she, she's performing in the West End. She's got a debut in the West End um, in Annie on uh, July the 28th. And um, it's the fr it's a fringe selling, best show, best seller, in three years in the West End. So it's going it's going very well, and she's very excited to do it. Yeah. Well, how are you finding it? You liking it? Yeah. That's good. What part are you going to be playing? I'm going to be playing Tessie. Tessie, is that a good part? And um, I think so. Yeah. Well, does Dad come and watch you a little bit? Did you come to the shows and stuff? Yeah. He's always posting out pictures on his Twitter saying how proud he is of you and that. That must be nice. Yeah. So but do you think you'll be doing it when you grow up then, maybe? Yeah, I, I would like to do it. Yeah. Costs a lot of money to go to them sort of schools, though, doesn't it? Them stage school things aren't cheap, mate. Yeah, no, no, I mean, but that's why that's why I do what I do. I do it to, for a better um, life for my family. You know, it's not, it's not just for, for myself, it's for my family and... You know, for your kids to sort of, I'd like them to go on to do big and better things, you know, and all I can do, I'm going to try and do for them. But um, Shannon, like Shannon's making me very proud at the moment, and uh, hopefully she'll go on and she'll start earning money soon. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully one day, Shannon, you can look after your old dad. Yeah, you can look after me. You're gonna, you're gonna give us a little song. Um. Give us a couple of verses. Maybe far away, or maybe real nearby. She's sitting playing piano. He's sitting paying a bill. Betcha he reads. Betcha she sews. Maybe she's made me a closet of clothes. Maybe they're strict, as straight as a line. Don't really care as long as they're mine. So maybe now this press, the last one of its kind. Whoa. Whoa. 
won't you please come get your baby? Maybe. Oh, that was brilliant. That was really good. I thought your dad was going to start crying then. And I'd like to say thank you for, to Matthew Chandler because he's gave me all these opportunities. And yeah, just thanks to all of the App Now gang as well. That's brilliant. All right, well, listen, keep it up, and hopefully, one day you'll be taking care of your old dad. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers Dollars. I'll see you Cheers. soon, right? Cheers, mate.